Hello and welcome back to my channel, ladies and gentlemen. Baker is back with another. I guess this is an this is an update video. In this particular video, I'm going to talk about the season two changes that happened to Paul Phoenix and whether it matters to Yoshi Bintu or not in the long run. But if not, it, this is also a really good way of figuring out what exactly is happening with these new characters. Well, with the characters in the new season. Up first is 3-2 having its hitbox increased downward when the attack hits. That just makes it a little bit easier for this move to be able to be comboed. That's all this that's all that is. Forward one plus four, its damage got nerfed down from twenty-six to twenty-one. The reaction after the hit has changed. It's like a very heavy knockdown that allows for a death fist to happen afterwards. Apparently, there was a bug in which the counter hit didn't occur when hit during the startup, and that has been fixed. For the string down forward plus one, one, two, three hit string, the, rea the reaction on opponent after the hit has been changed, they two get knocked down that can get turned into a death fist combo. However, Yoshimitsu can still duck and flash this last hit. Down plus one into two, the opponent, I'm sorry, the distance to the opponent was decreased on block, actually making it much easier to launch this move on block. Back in the past, Yoshimitsu had a hard time being able to punish this move despite it being at least negative 17 on block sometimes you would have to use a buffer crouch dash one but now that buffer crouch dash one has a higher likely chance of hitting the low in demo man the distance to the opponent has been decreased on block also making this move easier to punish down back plus two didn't change much other than the fact that uh, it just changed how your opponent or how me in this gameplay here would just react after being hit in midair. Back plus one into two had his properties changed. In the past this move would knock you down into unbelievable pressure, uh, unbelievable Okizemi pressure, but now it does leave you standing in the air. Back one plus two just had the midair uh, midair hit animation change. Not much has happened. This move is still pretty pretty strong. Up back plus two, I believe has had its counter hit properties change. Yeah, that's exactly it. It now changes to say Kazia's down four plus two. It will give you that crumpling. Oh my stomach hurts. <laughs> Yeah, it'll give you my, oh my stomach hurts and then you go down to the ground. Up 4 plus 2 is, has like quite a bit done to it. Uh, the startup frames have been decreased by 5 frames. It is now plus 9 on block from being plus 8. It is now Paul Phoenix's wall bounce. The opponent reaction in midair is also changed. I believe you just go a little bit farther now. And put into perspective its jump status frames like the frames that he's considered in the air has also been decreased by five frames up four plus three which is just the first hit in his shredder kicks have also been changed the only thing that has changed is that the opponent is now closer on hit making it easier to combo with Death Fist has only had its damage nerfed. It went from 40 damage to 36 damage. That is the only change that this move has had. Quarter Circle Back Plus 2 has only had its mid air animation changed. Quarter 
quarter circle back plus three two three the last hit in this move has had its damage increased to 17 however the first hit quarter circle back plus three just to reiterate has changed from plus three to plus one on block it's not as safe anymore and the opponent reaction after the counter hit has also been changed Wall Rising 2 has had its startup knocked down from 16 to 17 to 15 to 16. Essentially, it was a one frame change. So the grab into just frame down forward 1 plus 3 into Death Fist. At first, the hits weren't connected. These moves are now connected. It will now combo when you do the just frame right. And however, the actual Death Fist Just Frame input damage has been increased from 15 to 20. So this move is actually now much more beneficial to do. And Forward Forward 1 plus 2 has had its active frames from both Paul and the person being thrown decreased by 10 frames just so this move is overall faster. The only other change that was in here was Paul's down plus two while the opponent is on the ground being closer on block, but I didn't feel like this would have been added. Thank you for watching. These videos, these part two update videos will not be as polished as my normal guides. These are just to get what has changed about the character out of the way, but I appreciate you guys for watching nonetheless, and you all take care.